How much I said that? I don't know. Do you describe yourself as a that time. auditor? Police auditor? Not really police accountability, but there is a, there is a group of auditors. I've been doing this since uh, 1993 when Tucson Police first did this to me. There wasn't no such thing as auditors then. Okay. So, um, so when you post a video on YouTube, um, does it stay there forever or do you need a number of views to keep a YouTube video going? It stays there forever. So There's if no nobody one... views it, it just stays there? Yeah. Yes. There's a, the number of views doesn't have any effect on that. Okay. Um, if you get enough views, you can actually get paid for your YouTube videos, can't you? Uh, I believe so, yes. There's people that do that. All right. And you're part of this group that, or groups that do this, correct? To do what? The monitorization? Mm-hmm. No. Yes. No, the viewing of uh, police officers and posting them on YouTube, right? Yes, filming cop block watches, okay. yes. All right. But most of these videos, I mean, they only have a few hundred views, correct? If you go on YouTube and you look at the number of views, a few hundred here, a few hundred there. Uh, yes, and, and some people mirror them. Oh. I let everybody mirror my videos. I don't, I don't do that to mm -hmm. copyright stuff. All right. Uh, so you'd agree that if, if Tucson police, you testify you think Tucson police are watching these views? Your YouTube videos? Yes. Okay. So the police are watching these videos, and you've watched these videos, and I've watched some of these videos. That's not very many people outside that sphere watching your videos, is it? Uh, well, it depends on which which video. Uh, I mean, there's videos that have millions of views. People that, mirror. That you posted? Uh, there's probably a couple, like the water incident on uh, May 30th. Uh, about 30 people posted that. And okay. yeah, it has it probably has way over a million views. But on your station, Tucson cops suck. No, on that one, it probably has. Uh, I don't even know. Probably just probably ten thousand, maybe fifty thousand, okay. something like that. Um, you agree? The more sensational the video, the more people are going to watch it, right? Yeah, and the more time, sure. the more time is out there. Okay. Um, and you've already testified at how you were involved in the commotion here at Tucson City Court earlier that day, right? I wasn't involved in the commotion caused by Tucson. You were there. I was there, yes. Okay, all right. um, you were angry at Officer Wilson, right? Not really. He's just one of the guys that kidnapped my friend. I wasn't angry with him. So you're not angry at kidnappers? Well, I wouldn't say angry. I, uh, I, uh, I, don't, I don't care much for him. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you call him I, if you want to call it angry, I guess uh, I'm not satisfied with the way the Tucson police act. Right. Right. But you called him a gangbanger, a prick, uh, I called oinky. On that tip video, I called him a gangbanger, prick, and, and criminal oinky. Okay. And I called him a criminal cop, which is worse than All right. criminal oinky. So with that sentiment, you see Officer Wilson and his girlfriend, Grandma Fisher, and her four-year-old daughter come into uh, the sausage deli, right? Yes. Okay. In one second. They just walk right by. All right. Yes. So when they come in, you're commenting about him, right? I was talking to him, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But you're also talking about her, aren't you? Not an initial concert walk in the door. The only thing I said was, like I told you, are you following me? So I wasn't mm -hmm. talking about her. I was talking about him. At some point you're talking about her, though, aren't you? Later on, I, she's with her, and I said, yeah, this might be his girlfriend or his wife. I don't know. In yes. fact, you even start to say they probably they probably don't like, and then you stop in the video. Right? They probably don't like, and then you skip over to, I'm going to post this on my YouTube station. Who's they? They probably don't like. The Tucson Police Department don't ever like it when I film. Mm -hmm. Tucson Police Department don't like it ever. But the Tucson they always Police try to arrest me for filming. Tucson Police Department's not there though, right? Just singular Officer Wilson, yes. correct? He's a member of the Tucson Police Department, yes. So when you say they, you're talking about Brianna Fisher, her daughter, and Officer Wilson, correct? Well, they and Tucson Police Department. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I mean, they could have been saying that. I was saying they is in Tucson Police Department. All right. So Ms. Fisher and her daughter, they, they didn't finish putting their order in, did they? They were standing in the pay station. They never did put an order in. Yeah, so they left, right? Uh, no, they didn't leave. Uh, Brianna Fisher 
and the, the child left. Now I know went to the bathroom, and then Officer Wilson stayed there and then moved north towards the door because other people was getting in line. He was standing in the pay line, and he didn't even order yet, and he was standing in the pay line. So your presence, you presence, you and your activities, you scared them out of the restaurant, right? I don't know. They left. Uh, you didn't know Kendall, did you? The no. little girl. No. I didn't and you know didn't Kendall. know Brianna. Oh, go ahead. No, I didn't know either one of them. Okay. But you followed them out of the restaurant, right? No, I didn't follow them out of the restaurant. I went out the east door. I didn't know where they was at. Then when I was walking towards the cop car, he came out of the left. I would never seen her. So apparently she was already in her car driving away. But no, I never followed them out. If they went out the same door, I went out the same door. I've never went out any other door than the east door. Came in and went out ever in Saucy's Deli. That's the only door I've ever came in now, ever. Didn't you go out, go to Brandon Fisher's car, and then head back to the Saucy's Deli, and then head towards Officer? No, I did not. Every every second of the outside was on film. 100% of the outside with the contactor. When I turned the uh, camera off the officer, he pulled out and left, and I went and talked to the air conditioning guys. So at no point ever was I outside that wasn't being filmed. Wasn't your intention to antagonize Officer Wilson by going after his girlfriend? My intention was to get his license plate and his car number when I was walking towards his car. I didn't know if he was in the car or not until I got close to it, and then I saw him coming out of the left side. And if you look, I don't know where what car he came out of. Uh, all I saw is what the camera saw, because I turned when he said, uh, are you, uh, he said, oh, why don't you leave my family out of it, or something like that. Mm -hmm. And when he says, stop bothering my family, don't you respond, yeah, then get another job, buddy. No, I said, get another job. I said, I said, get another, uh, get another job, yes. So if we watch that video clip, it doesn't say, yeah. Okay, it might be, yeah, get another job. And all I heard him saying is, uh, stop bothering my family, but his family wasn't at the cop car. I was filming the cop car, right. and I didn't know where uh, his family was at, or if that was his family, his girlfriend, I knew nothing about it. Okay. His family was at the car that you filmed exiting the parking lot, right? I don't know. Now I know that, yes. I, that's what you're saying. I don't know if that's really her car, because you can't see in there. You can't see inside the car. There was tinted windows. I saw nothing of, uh, of her so, on the outside. I only saw her on the inside of the restaurant ever. So if you had succeeded in getting Officer Wilson angry enough to overreact and come at you, that would have made a great YouTube, wouldn't it? I, I don't know. What he did was made a great video. But I, didn't, I wasn't even probably going to post that, except for this incident. Now I'm going to post it with, with this incident. You were hoping you'd make him so mad he'd lose control? I wasn't hoping anything. All I was doing was getting the picture of his is the patrol vehicle and the number on the vehicle. Okay. But if you had a video of an angry Tucson police officer coming after you, that'd be a great <coughs> Your Honor, this is irrelevant to the charges. Good argumentative just name. Let me clarify one thing. You said that you're only trying to get the vehicle number and the license plate? Then why of, the cop, of the cop car, yes. If that's the only thing you, you were trying to do, why were you making those comments toward the officer about, I would teach you to read, get a new job? That was after, that was after, I was going out there for the purpose of uh, getting the, uh, the tag number and that. I didn't know he was going to come towards me. He came out of my left, out of nowhere. I didn't know where he was at at all. When he came out of my left, then I started talking to him. Yes. So Mr. Brown, this is, your full-time occupation, making YouTube videos. I'm an air conditioning guy. I make no money off of YouTube videos. Okay. But you post these videos, right? I post videos on YouTube, correct. So as it turns out, Officer Wilson didn't lose control, did he? 
Did he swing? Did he try and punch you? No, he didn't try to punch me. Did he arrest you at the time? No, he didn't arrest me. Okay. I did nothing to be arrested. So, these videos, they don't show his mind misconduct, they show yours, don't they? I, I wouldn't say it's misconduct. I didn't do anything in misconduct. But if there's more to these videos than we've seen, you're saying they don't exist. Of this, no, that's the only two videos I took. The time in between them was a short time. The only thing I was doing in that time was talking to the Air Force officers. I wasn't filming me talking to the Air Force officers, you know, and I was talking to them about what I did and what they did. So I didn't film that, no. They're called clips, right? These videos? This, is, this was a video, this wasn't a clip. I was, my battery was running dead. So that's why I, I didn't want, I probably wouldn't have did a full video anyway. I never in my wildest dreams thought I would be uh, going to court on what happened in that restaurant. I did absolutely nothing wrong, zero. But their title is Clips, right? It's a video. It's a short video, so I don't, a, a clip probably would be taken out of a longer video. This was not a clip, this was the whole video uh, of the inside. The outside was the whole thing. The inside, as I turned it on, as soon as they walked in and I said that, then that's when I reached over, got my phone, and turned it on. And, uh, and that lasted, what, 38 seconds? After that, there was, there was, uh, there was hardly any time because she went back to the bathroom. The officer Wilson backed up there and I went to talk to the Air Force guys. And that's all there was to it. It was a very short time. You I was less than two minutes talking to the Air Force guys, I would say. And then they was gone. Maybe three minutes at the most. You know, right around that area. But I didn't I wasn't watching the clock, but a very short time. You don't want us to see the video of you going to Brandon Fisher's car, do you? It didn't exist. There ain't no such video, period. No it never happened. Strategy. It never happened. Any redirect? Yes, briefly. Um, Mr. Brown, um, you already testified that you did see a child, um, the child that was uh, Mrs. Fisher's child, right? And she walked in. I didn't see the face, but I saw a child. I didn't know if it was a girl boy on the other side of Brianna Fisher, and she was going to the restaurant. Okay. Until they went behind the pony wall. Okay, so you're not yes. denying that you knew there was a child there? No. Okay. For one second I saw the, the child. And um, uh, you already said this, um, but is, you, is it your intention to get paid from this YouTube video you have? No. Okay. There is people do, not me. Okay. Um, and when you were outside and it looks like you turned the camera and zoomed in on that brown SUV, um, you're saying that you didn't know that that was Miss Fisher's no, car? I did not know. I didn't know whose car that was. I was just I was just going to the exit, surveilling the area, and then went right back. So the, after on Friday is when I learned that that was Brianna Fisher's car. Okay, and. Um, you you weren't arrested at the time. At the day of this incident, no, I wasn't you at, weren't arrested. February sixth. Okay. Yeah. February sixth is when you got That's arrested. About two weeks, just under two weeks later. Okay. No more questions. I just have one question, uh, Mr. Brown. Obviously, when you were in the beach, in the restaurant, you did turn your camera on at one point when you saw Officer Wilson and his family. I mean, we saw the video. Yes, yeah. okay. once they got to the pay station. You, you, if you look above the, the pay, it says pay here, that's where they were standing. And you had no interaction with them before you turned the video on? The only interaction I had with him was uh, saying to him, uh, why are you following me? Are you following me to that? That's the only thing I said to him. It's the only words. And that was before the video got turned on? Before the video got turned on. So there, that's the only words that I said to him before the videos were turned on, correct? And then what would be the purpose of filming Officer Wilson and or his family inside that restaurant? I was just filming Officer Wilson. He was standing by her. So it was just really to, to film Officer Wilson, which was the guy that just kidnapped my two friends and me. And, and that's what I was saying. It's just like if, uh, 
if you was in a restaurant and your family just got kidnapped and the kidnapper walks into your restaurant, you know, that's about the extent of it. To me, he was a criminal. He arrest, he unlawfully arrested three people. And of course, all them charges were dropped. We never did nothing to three people that got arrested by Mr. Uh, Officer Wilson. Any other questions, Ms. Lamb? Yeah, just to clarify. Um, so, Mr. Brown, you were sitting right by the east door where Officer Wilson and Ms. Fisher and the child walked in, correct? Correct. And you immediately said, um, what are you following me, or something to that effect. Yes. And yes. he responded to you. Yes. And that's the only direct thing you said to him. Yep. Or, that's the only thing he said to me in, on the inside of the restaurant. Okay, so right. when you were filming, were you talking to them? No, I was narrating and talking to Robert sitting next to me. Robert was there the whole time until, uh, and he went up to go to the restroom right after I went to talk to the Air Force guys. He went to go to the restroom and he didn't come out until I was already talking to Officer Wilson when Officer Wilson came up on me. And then I was behind, uh, I was behind Officer Wilson because he was getting in his car and from Robert's view, I was behind him. So. But but uh, but that when Robert came out of the restaurant, that's what he said he saw. Is that's at the point that he saw it. But that's all. Everything on the outside was on video. There okay. wasn't no other time I was outside until okay. the very end of my dinner. Okay. No more questions. Anything else, Mr. Franklin? No, Judge. Mr. Brown, you may step down. Any other defense witnesses? No, Your Honor. Defense rests. Franklin, any rebuttal witnesses? No, Your Honor. I think he wanted you to put this down. Yes. Before I, I take argument, I wanted to clarify something with counsel. There was a witness who testified that uh, there was surveillance video of I guess the inside as well as the outside of the sausage deli in the state. Uh, the court will not be viewing those videos. The state doesn't have them, Judge. Neither does the defense. Yes, Judge. <clears throat> Judge, uh, everyone, including the defendant, agrees the conduct of following someone out, a civilian, out to her car with her four-year-old child and filming her and walking around her vehicle and filming her license plate is outrageous conduct, that it's seriously disruptive conduct. Uh, even Mr. Brown would agree that, that that would be outrageous. And Judge, I think that's exactly what happened here. If we look at the evidence, from the defendant himself, the video, um, it's, it's preposterous. It's simply not credible that he didn't know that was Granite Fisher's vehicle. He zooms in on it once, and then he comes back to it again. He knows that's her vehicle. You know, he knows it because he followed them out of the car, walked around the car, and filmed her license plate. Um, let's think about other things that we know for certain. We know for certain that Mark Brown hates the Tucson Police Department. That's uncontested. Um, he considers the making videos of police officers either be his occupation, his major pastime, his, his uh, reason for being, however you want to put it, but it's a mainstay for him. Um, we also know that these videos aren't particularly popular, right? They don't elicit a lot of views, a few hundred on his YouTube page. Um, I would submit to the court, he needs something more. He needs something to make this stand out. And when Officer Wilson came in with his family, here was a choice target. Here was an opportunity to get a Tucson police officer to react emotionally because he's going after Officer Wilson's family. Officer Wilson's not the victim here. Grant Fisher and Kendall Suka are, the four-year-old girl. Um, so what's he do? He starts filming them. He starts filming uh, them and uh, acknowledges in the video, they probably don't like it. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing is disruptive. Um, in the video, he's calling, at various times, he's calling Officer Wilson criminal oinky, gangbanger, kidnapper, prick, illiterate. 
Those are all things that we know he said. State submits that these are clips. These are segments of a larger video. What we don't have is what um, the state would argue is where the principal criminal conduct was engaged in. Uh, and what he said then, we don't know. But we, don't, we do know what he wanted to submit to the court. Uh, that begs the question of what he didn't want to show the court, just how much worse that was. We heard both from Officer Wilson and Ms. Fisher that he was, uh, Mark Brown was filming Ms. Fisher's car. Uh, we heard from Ms. Fisher that she was scared. That, and we also heard from both of them that um, Kendall was affected by this. Either she was whining or she was crying, she was upset. Certainly we know they abandoned their lunch plans. Um, they abandoned their day um, from what they had originally planned because of Mr. Brown. Um, what, what's Mr. Brown's intention here? Is he, is he gonna post a YouTube? He's excited about it, you can hear it in the video. I probably don't like this, I'm gonna put this up my YouTube station. What's he gonna put up on a YouTube station? A film of an officer ordering lunch? No, he's gonna be interested in that. He's hoping to get a rise out of Officer Wilson. He's hoping to cause an emotional reaction because this is not just involving Officer Wilson and his job, but now it's got his family involved. Um, he hassles these people, he disturbs their peace, and he was hoping for a lot more than what he got. State submits what he got was a video of him engaging in criminal conduct. That's why we don't have the entire video. Um, we know from Mr. Brown's own stated intentions, he's out to catch Tucson police engaged in wrongdoing. Most of his videos don't show anything like that. In fact, they don't come anywhere near. <clears throat> but if he could get a Tucson police officer to overreact because he's going after his family, then that's something that would be worth putting up on YouTube. Um, and we know that's what he's doing because in the video, you hear Officer Wilson saying, stop filming my family. Mark Brown's response, yeah, then get another job, buddy. That's his goal. His goal is to upset Wilson, and he's going to do it by attacking his family. Judge, that's seriously disruptive behavior. Brianna Fisher's a victim of that. Seriously disruptive behavior. Kendall Suskup is a victim of that. And following six foot eight strange men, following a little four-year-old girl out to her car and scaring her mom, that's contributing to the linguistic minor. The state would ask the, judge, the court to find Mr. Brown guilty of all three charges. State's position is that Mr. Brown uh, followed Miss Fisher out in the filming at her at her vehicle, and maybe went back into the restaurant and came out and had this interaction with Officer Wilson. Yes, sir. Think they didn't see. Yes, sir. Uh, so, it is, so his movements in and around the restaurant are pretty key. Um, okay, go ahead. Anything else, Mr. Franklin? Uh, no, Judge. Just that that Mr. Brown went to the vehicle, the SUV, went back towards the restaurant, and then headed towards Officer Wilson's vehicle, and that's when he reconnected with Officer Wilson. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Spina, you start? Yes, Your Honor. Um, I think it's pretty obvious what's going on here. Um, there's no, it's no secret that Mr. Brown and others filmed the Tucson police. Mr. Brown has a video. The police are aware of that. The state's aware of that. Um, Mr. Brown clearly does not like Tucson Police Department, and we could imagine that Tucson Police Department doesn't like him, doesn't like the fact that Mr. Brown is rude to them, follows them, accuses them of wrongdoing. Makes sense that they don't like him. And what happened there that day when I first said nothing happened, nothing did happen. What I mean is nothing illegal happened. The state has to bend over backwards to make up this idea that there was movement going around that, and during that movement around, that's where the criminal activity happened. But our evidence that we showed shows that that didn't happen. First, the inconsistent statements that Officer Wilson and Ms. Fisher have said numerous times. First, to 
Officer Valdez. Um, Officer Valdez took the report. Both Officer, Va Officer Wilson and Miss Fisher told Officer Valdez that Mr. Brown was yelling, got up from his chair, and approached them as he said, um, this must be Officer Wilson's wife and child, right? The video contradicts that. Mr. Wilson, Mr. Brown was sitting down the whole time he said that. On the stand, Officer Wilson stuck to his story. Yes, he got up as he was saying that. But Miss Fisher on the stand here, or Friday, said that no, he never got up the whole time. He was um, yelling and screaming. So there's our first inconsistencies. There's numerous inconsistencies, but that's one I want to highlight first. Um, the second one, inconsistent, about yelling and screaming. That he was, the Officer Wilson and Ms. Fisher both testified that Mr. Brown was so disorderly, he was yelling, standing up, approaching them to the point, he was so disorderly that everyone in the restaurant stopped and looked at him, that other customers actually had to say something to him, and that even the staff, two or three or four staff members poked their head around the corner to see what the commotion was. There's absolutely no evidence of that. We have Mr. Brown's companion who said nothing happened. Even if we disregard that, because they are friendly or acquaintances, even if the court disregards that witness, we have Mr. Um, Romero, Mr. Romero, who at the time was the manager of the restaurant. He doesn't know Mr. Brown. There's no relationship there. In fact, he's, he's at this point not even the manager of the sausage deli anymore. But he was there that day. He testified that small staff, and he didn't hear anything, he didn't see anything, and most importantly, that if something like that happened and his staff was aware of it, as the manager, he would have become aware of it. And he says, nothing happened nothing happened that he knows of and he was there so and the video itself does not show anything except mr brown talking into his phone he's not yelling he's not screaming he may have a loud voice the court heard it for himself he does mr brown kind of has a, a voice that carries we we all heard that but that's not yelling that's not screaming that's not totally disruptive in fact the video shows that there was people eating lunch between where he was sitting and where Officer Fisher, uh, Officer Wilson and Miss Fisher were standing, and they don't even turn around. As Mr. Brown is talking into his phone, these people continue to eat their lunch. They're not looking. They're not looking around going, What's, why is this guy yelling? They don't pay any attention to him. So the evidence shows he was not screaming. He was not disorderly in the restaurant. Now, um, the car, Officer Wilson and Miss Fisher both say he followed them out to the car and was circling the car and her little girl was really upset crying. There's inconsistent statements between the two. Miss Fisher on the stand said in her story that that time that he was doing apparently circling the car that Mr. Brown didn't say anything. Officer Wilson on the stand says during that time he was circling the car, he was saying things. So their statements are um, inconsistent. And the most important piece of evidence we have here is the video that we just saw again. Officer Wilson stated that after Ms. Fisher left, Mr. Brown was still there by Miss Fisher's car. Miss Fisher went away. Officer Wilson testifies that then he walks over to his car and Mr. Brown is following him the whole time. Right? That's what he testified to. In fact, when I interviewed Officer Wilson, I gave him every opportunity in the world to tell the real story. I asked him four times if he was Mr. Brown was following him to his car the whole time, or if Mr. Brown was there first. And Officer Wilson responded four times, no, he was behind me the whole time, no, he was following me the whole time. But he said that at that interview, he talked to me 
before he knew that there was a video and before he got to see that video. And then after he saw the video, the story kind of changed a little. And the video clearly shows that Mr. Brown was leaving, was filming from the corner of the restaurant and coming to the patrol car at an angle. So it shows that he was coming from the direction of the restaurant. And it's pretty clear that it's from the northeast corner. And he's walking over to the patrol car that was parked in um, the Walgreens parking lot. And he, you see it. He walks up. I mean, our eyes could see what happened. Mr. Brown walked up, and then he turns. His whole body and the camera turns, and Officer Wilson is coming towards him from his left, which is from the south, which is where Miss Fisher's car was parked. They both testified, and the exhibit is there um, that shows where the officer's car was parked and where Miss Fisher's car was parked. They were facing each other, apparently, and Mr. Miss Fisher's car was to the south in a parking space south of the patrol car. And that's where Officer Wilson was walking from. So it makes sense that he walked Miss Fisher and the little girl to her car, and then as they drove off, he was walking back to his patrol car, and that's where it shows Mr. Brown was. And yeah, he was really rude to the officer. He was saying some degrading things. And to, Ms. And to Officer Wilson's credit, Officer Wilson kind of laughs it off. He's totally professional about it. He gets in his car, doesn't make a scene, to his credit. However, what that video shows is that he was not over by Miss Fisher's car and did not follow the officer to the patrol car. So we just have to go with the evidence. The, the state will have us believe that there was some movement in between there, that after, after he circled Miss Fisher's car, and then he went back to the restaurant, and then he followed him. That doesn't make sense at all. First of all, that's not what Officer Wilson testified to, and that's not what he told me during the interview. He told me that as soon as Miss Fisher dro drove away, that he followed him to the car. And that's what he testified to on Friday. There was nothing about Mr. Brown going back to the restaurant. And there wouldn't be time, right? The, the timing isn't right. And as far as consistency, um, there was much talk during my cross-examination with Officer Wilson about the phone call he made. And although the phone call doesn't seem like it has relevance to the actual charges here, it's important to show that the story that Officer Wilson is telling is not true. During our video, I mean during our interview, which again happened before Officer Wilson knew about the video and saw the video that Mr. Brown took and that's in evidence 